Hey there, it's James with Make It Happen Greenhouse and Carps Bees, and I've been waiting to do this clover update video year four uh, from our overseeding of our lawn uh, until the rain stopped. Well, it finally stopped, but we're like into day three of this. So I've given up on waiting. I'm just going to go ahead and do the best I can with this video. So let me take you around the yard and show you the good, the bad, and the ugly of how the clover yard's going. I'll just show you how things are progressing here in year four of our overseeding of our fescue yard with white Dutch clover. So here you can go uh, just see kind of what things look like. So we oversee the entire yard, but where the grass was the strongest, obviously the grass stayed and it kind of outcompeted most of the clover. So you'll see a huge tracks here where there's no clover at all. You can see here on the side of our garage, we got a really nice patch of clover that's come in. We'll just get down in there. You can kind of check it out up close. Look great. Now I try to put the clover in areas where there's not high traffic. This right here though, you can almost see from the trenches that I drive my lawn tractor through here quite a bit. And the clover still does really well. So it's holding up to the wheeled traffic. Maybe not so well with the non-wheeled traffic, the foot traffic. So I think this non-monoculture yard looks great. And as soon as things dry out, we'll just mow over this. And it'll grow right back. So again, we haven't had a chance to get out here and mow in a little bit, and we've had a ton of rain, so things are pretty green and long. And because we do a clover lawn, we don't use any herbicides whatsoever. So you'll see, you know, dandelion in there. Mixed. What we have is a nice mix of both the grass and the clover. You know, they're kind of helping each other out or maybe they're just, you know, equally competing for the area. But I think it looks looks really nice. And for those of you that are beekeepers, you know, bees look for a lot of resources to go after. They're typically going to ignore your, you know, your single or a few plants in your landscape and and they'll go for where they can get a lot of stuff. So as you can see here, we got a ton of clover coming. And as soon as the bees get out of their hives, because it's a little cold today, they will be all over this. So that's good for bees. And if you like clover honey, this will contribute to that. So let's keep walking here a little bit. Here's our pet pigs area. Mabel's area and that's surely a mix of clover and grass and uh, she loves just to eat the clover she doesn't eat the flowers just the the immature clover so again throughout the whole yard we just have a mix of this fescue and clover mostly. A few spots here we got to work on. We used to have a pool here and uh, had dug it out and we've been slowly filling in some dirt so recently you can see there we put some dirt in and vegetation has yet to take over. Got a wet bird up there. What do you got on you bird? Just trying to dry out. Crow. But even back here where it gets pretty soppy, more towards the bees and the greenhouse. A nice little mix of grass and clover. And you can hear the water 
because it's been raining. All right. So this is James with Make It Happen Greenhouse and Carps Bees giving you the four year update on our clover yard. And wouldn't you know it, as soon as I do the video, the sun comes out and it's gorgeous. So we just have a interesting find. We found a turtle. Yeah, it was almost in the neighbor's yard. Yeah. Good job I didn't crush it. You did a great job, Garrett. If they say an accident, you know. I'm glad you didn't drop it by mistake. Yeah. Look at this clover, huh? Do you think the bees like the clover? I'm gonna see if we can find a bee on the clover. I think there are some. There's one. So there you have it. That's why we have a clover yard. Monocultures tend not to do very much for the environment. You can hear the birds and all the other activity going on, including the bees. And this is part of the story. It's not a perfect solution. We do have some bare spots here. Here's an example under this tree but for the most part it's a pretty nice success hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to the channel if you have any comments let me know have you tried a clover yard maybe a mixed yard any other plants you'd recommend I think people would like to know thanks again this is James with Carps B signing off. And don't forget, we're also Make It Happen Greenhouse.